Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial on how to install LSPFR for 2023 for GTA 5. If you're new to LSPFR, you want to learn how to become an officer in GTA 5, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also make sure the notification bell is clicked so you don't miss a single upload of LSPFR content I come to this channel. Make sure to comment down below what you want to see next for the next LSPFR tutorial. I'll get that video out to y'all as soon as possible. Alright, so for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to install the base. Um, we're going to be installing LSPFR, the manual install, the base game of it. We're going to install scripthookv, scripthookv.net, native UI, and rage new native UI. Also, we're going to need open IV. What you need to do is open up your Chrome browser or whatever browser you're using. Go to lspfr.com, which will take you to this website right here. Also, I'll leave links down in the description below for y'all to go to follow along. Once you get to this website here, go to downloads and click LSPFR, current version of LSPFR. It's going to be LSPD, first response 0 0.4.9, build 8382RPH fix. Click the blue download button. It'll pop up a license agreement. Click agree and download. What you want is this top one right here. LSPFR 0.4.9-8382 manual install. Do not click download the EXE. That's the Rage plugin hook in the EXE does is outdated for 2702. You want the manual install. This one has the current and latest version of Rage plugin hook. So click that one. If you if you guys do the EXE, it will not work. So always download the manual install. I already downloaded it, so I don't need that. Next thing you want is script hook V. Link to this will be down in the description. Current version of this is 2802, which is the current GTA 5 version. Just click the download. Where it says download, click the click that download. Do not download the SDK. That's for if you're developing developing plugins or callouts or LSPFR. Once you get that downloaded, next next one you want to download is scripthookv.net version 3.6. This is the latest version of scripthookv.net. Go down and click click the scripthookv.net.zip. Download that. That's it. That next one we're gonna download is native UI 1.9.1. This is the latest version. Click the release.zip and rename it to native UI 1.9.1. And the other one we needed is Rage Native UI 1.9.1. Download that by clicking Rage Native UI. And another thing we needed was Open IV. So I'll leave a link to this website down in the description. Click that green download now. Open IV, it will download Open IV. I got it installed, so I don't need to worry about it. All right, once you get those requirements downloaded, don't worry about the mods. We will install them in the upcoming tutorials. Right now, we just need to get these in and get the base game installed. All right, minimize all that. We can have my OBS. Now let's bring up our main GTA directory for Steam. Oh, for Steam users, this is for Steam users only. If you're using the Steam version of a GTA, come to your C drive, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, co common, then Grand Theft Auto 5. For me, it's coming on my D drive, so I'm gonna go already create a shortcut. Do not copy my my um pathway because just do not just do not copy my D uh D drive because you need external hard drive. 
That's gone. Right. Alright, so this is what the fuck is that? Get that out of there. Alright. So this is what your directory should look like. No mods, no script tucked, no nothing. Oh, you know what? We forgot to download Simple Trainer. So we need to go. We need Simple Trainer. So let's go to gta5mods.com. I right, created an account, so I gotta go to my follow files. Oh, but guys, if you are, if you guys are getting the, um, error message or out of memory, if you get any type of error message. Go ahead and download Pack File Limit Adjuster from GTA, GTA Mods.com. Download that. Save it to a pet to a um ta uh one of these tabs where you you can save it to your videos tab, your music tab, pictures tab, documents drive, doc downloads or desktop. Just download to wherever you. Want to save it so you know where it's at. Because the pack file limit adjuster on modified game config sometimes helps resolve those issues. Oh, and heap adjuster. Oh, we also need gonna be new in open all interiors. Yes, it will open every almost every interior. That's also a requirement. Because most callouts do require open all interiors. By the time y'all watching this tutorial, it's going to be updated. The current version for this right now is 14.6. Alright, let's go ahead and download that. Boom. Now type in the search bar, type in heat limit adjuster. I think it's this one. Yep, if you get this type of error, download this. Which is gonna be this one, but later down the road I'll be installing Lenny's mod loader. Alright, so we're not going to worry about anything else. Let's go ahead and get this installed to our game. So pull up our main GTA directory. Bring this down here. Drag, and dra drag this all the way. But I'll leave a little buffer zone. You need this buffer zone. Because if you click on one of these and you drag and drop, it's going to go into that folder. Alright, so go ahead and open up. Open IV first, because I want to get this out of the way before I forget. So this is what happens when looks like when you open open IV. You want to go to GTA 5 Windows, and it's gonna ask you where's your GTA 5 located at. So you click Browse. By default, it's gonna be it should it should um have your main G GTA directory path. If it doesn't, go to your your C drive and go to the C drive if you're if you install it on your C drive, it's going to be your C drive. Programs times 86. Steam, Steam apps, common, and Grand Theft Auto 5. Sorry about that. Uh, I also paste the directory path down in the description as well. So mine's already highlighted by the. I already got it by default, so I'm gonna click select folder, and you should get you should get a successfully me successful message highlighted in green. Says says successfully GT5.exe version 1.0.2802 can work. Open IV can work with this file. Once you get that message, click continue. It says do not forget to back up your original files before editing. Which, which, that's what you, you should always do. Back up your files in case you make any mistakes. If you do not back up your files, you, you will have issues down, down the, down the road. 
Alright. It will give you this uh welcome message. Click hit no thanks. Alright, this whoops. Alright, so this is what it looks like when we open it. So Alright, so we need to go ahead and go to edit mode, which is top right hand corner here next to the search bar. Click edit mode. It will give you a little warning message. Then while edit while in editing mode, all changes will automatically save. Do you want to continue? Click yes. Then you click the blue ASI manager. Because we need to install this. Alright. You should have three things highlighted in blue, which is gonna be the ASI loader, openiv.asi, and open camera. What basically the open camera is for is for the Rockstar editor. You don't have to necessarily have this installed, but it's optional. It's just these two we need to worry about. So go ahead and click install. It's gonna, it's gonna, gonna install pretty quickly. Then open IV.asi. Click install that. It's gonna pop up with this create mods folder. The mods folder allows you to keep all your original game files safe and have easiest one click away to switch between modified and original files. Yes, show notifications while editing archive outside of mods folder is ticked. Also, allow edit mode only for archives inside mods folder. Pick that. Click yes. And there you go. It's, ins it's installed. For me, I'm going to install the open camera. Because why not? Once you get those installed, click close. Now, if you want every time you go to open IV2, like, edit, like, install a mod. Can't edit anything because it's not in edit mode. And forward to go into edit mode every time you need to go to the tools, options, where it says default work mode, yours is going to be set to read only. Go to the drop down menu, drop, the drop down menu, and select edit. You'll be in edit mode every time you open up Open IV. So let's go to our mods tab right here and select allow edit mode only for archives inside mods folder. Tick that. So the reason why I want to bring that up is because every time you, if you download a mod from a website and, and it's got an OIV package, it will give you the option to, to install in the mods folder and install the G, main GTA directory. That second option, you do not want to touch that because that will corrupt your game real quick. So that's why I want to bring that up. Because every time you go install an open IV package, that one option that have I showed y'all with that option. Allow edit mode only for our cuts inside mods folder. That you can click that well just it will block out the the GTA EXE directory path so you don't misclick it. So that's why I have this ticked. So I don't do an accidental misclick. All right, we can exit out of OpenIV for now. So we need to go back to our G main GTA directory. We need to copy our whole update folder. Select your update folder, right click, select copy. Put it inside mods folder, right click and paste. It's gonna copy all your, the whole update folder. Um, you know what? Let's pause this real quick. Go back to our main directory. Go ahead and get this get this cracking. So I'm gonna open up another file explore tab. Drag this to the left side of my I'm gonna bring this one down here. I'm gonna go to where I kept my Go ahead and open that up. Make sure you have WinRAR and ZemZip installed to open these files. If you... All right. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select everything in this folder except the licenses. Drag and drop that in. And copy those files over. Go 
Boom. So those are installed. Alright, so we got LSP4 installed. We're gonna install the next one. Um unplug the file. Native UI. Ignore that message. And the native UI that the 1.9.1 .1 zip that we downloaded, you just want the native UI.dll. Drag and drop that in. Oh, let's also create a scripts folder as well, because it's going to require that. So, all this one scripts. Scripts is going to be all lower, all lowercase. The script hook b.net is going to give you an error. Say this, it's missing a scripts folder. So I'm also going to put the native UI.dll inside the scripts folder, because there's going to be There's gonna be some scripts I will be using that requires the latest version of native UI. So, so that's in the scripts folder for now, and we're not gonna worry about the scripts folder. We might download some scripts later down the series. All right, next one is script hook v. Unlock the file, open that up, put a bin. What you want is the script hook v and the input 8.dll. Drag and drop. Do, do not touch the native trainer. I heard that her native trainer is the most difficult one to use. Everybody prefers the um, simple trainer. Alright, so those are installed. Now we need script hook v.net. Drag everything except the readme and license text files. Drag and drop. Close in. Alright, so we got script hook B, native UI, and script hook V.net installed. Let's go into the anime here real quick. We need to change a change a key. By the by default, come for script hook V.net, the console key is gonna be F4, which is rage plugin hooks. Default key. So you want to change that to F5. So it doesn't conflict with your Rage plugin console. Alright. So X out of that. Alright, now we need to install Rage Native UI. Go ahead and unblock the file. Open that up. You want to take the rage native UI.dl and the XML, drag and drop. Rage native UI is required for rage plugin hook to work properly. So you always want to install rage native UI, otherwise, it would be constantly crashing. So those. Alright, so we got the native UI, rage native UI, script hook V, script, script, script hook V. Hookv.net. Okay, so we got those there. Now we can. I'm gonna go ahead and install the pack file limit adjuster. We download it. Go ahead and follow me. You want to take the ASI and the INI, drag and drop to your main directory. Let's go into the INI here real quick. I know it's a long tutorial, but this is, I'm trying to be more detailed and specific so y'all understand what's going on here. By default, it's going to be 7344. Do not touch this, it's going to be fine. So go ahead and accept that. Don't worry about the well, well so it popped up. Alright, so we got that. We're fine. Actually let's take the iron eye out. It, it should work correctly. With just the ASI on there. Alright. Let's go ahead and install open end interiors. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and let this um go ahead and let that copy while we're doing this. What you want to do is just take the open interiors.asi, drag and drop. You can have the i9 in there as well. 
but I ain't be worried too about opening tiers, I and I. Because I had no issues with that. With the pack fire limit jester and heap adjuster. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the heap adjuster. Drag that ASI. Drag and drop. Close. All right, so we got the heap adjuster, the pack file limit adjuster, open interiors, mods installed. And let's go ahead and get trainer V installed. Open that up. Take the ASI and the INI. Drag and drop. All right, X out of that. I think that's it for the basic things. Now let's go to our directory. Let's go to the trainer V dot INI. Mine's gonna be open up in no plus plus plus. You can open open the iron eyes in a um notepad. Alright, so I'm gonna change the menu key. The menu key and the high menu key. By default, it's gonna be F3 and F4. I'm gonna bring this down to but the menu key is gonna be 112, which is gonna be your F1. And for this one, it's going to be 113. That's going to be your F2 key. The F1 and F2 is going to be your um, action replay buttons. There's a mod we, we can remove them so it doesn't conflict with the simple trainer. So we'll download that and install it later down next few tutorials. Also, I want to point out in here, if you scroll down till you see left and right indicator, we're going to change that. Those are your turn signals. I can find it right here. These two lines right here. By default, it's going to be your K and L keys for your turn signals. What you want to do when I highlight 75 and change it to 37, that's going to be your left arrow. And for the right indicator, change from 76. To 39. That's going to be your right indicator. 39 is going to be your right arrow key. 37 is going to be your left arrow key. Because if you had. If you just left it alone. The K is going to interfere with your. um. If you got police vehicles. It's going to mess with the. um. Example if you down the. L LCO Liberty Pack by Ripple. If you hit the uh, Explorer, it's gonna toggle the um, the light the lights where the license plates are. It's gonna toggle. It's gonna conflict with that. So that's why I want to point that out. So 37, 30, 37 for your left indicator, thirty nine for your right indicator. I'll show you all that once the. What's it? Um, the update folder is completely transferred. So, it's the time for me, real quick. I'm gonna pause and I'll come back. All right. So now, it's been successfully transferred over. So, right before I end this tutorial, um, let's go ahead and open up Open IV. So I want to. Guess there's something I want. to... We need also need to transfer transfer over. Where it says common RPF, copy that to your mods folder because we will be using common RPF down the next few tutorials because we will be installing a map mod. Nine sixty four. Go to audio sound effects. Uh, you want the. Take the paint RPF, copy that, copy that to your mods folder because we'll be using a mod, a sound mod that will change the uh, paint of the pads. 
then take your resident.rpf, copy that to your mods folder, because we'll be installing uh, Starry Mod. It'll be in the next few tutorials. And that should be it. All right, so XL there. Now let's open up our Rage plugin hook. If you want to take it to your desktop, go to your main GGA directory. Go down to Rage plugin hook, right click, show more options, and send to, and desktop. So let's go ahead and open that up. You will get the disclaimer on startup. Click I accept. It'll do the initialization. It'll be real quick. All right, under the general tab, your console key, do not change it. Just keep it. You try to change it and won't and save it. It won't. When you go to hit a different key, it won't do it. So keep it at four. Your plugin time timeout threshold. This is important. This will get your Gives it time to load in all the plugins that you have we're gonna be installing. So by default it's gonna be ten thousand. Do not leave it at ten thousand because if you do it will constantly crash. So change backspace that one, change it to sixty thousand. That is a decent number that would give it enough time for all the plugins to log in load in. So go to plugins, load these pl click load load these plugins on startup, click LSP first response. They go to your event settings. Nothing to change in here. If you don't want the custom loading screen, you can take that. Custom backgrounds for loading screen. Take this if you. I think Jeffrey Gamer uh, has a tutorial on how to do that. I'll leave. If I find this video, I'll leave you a link to it down in the description. Game settings. Where is this backup game version? Shut down on it. Now this is where you need to back up your game files. Because with the backup game version, it will allow, it will, it says right here, you can back up critical game files to allow you to revert to a previous game version if the game is updated to a version that is not currently supported by Rage. So click backup current version. You never know when that update is going to happen. So we'll create a backup, then we'll store it, then you should be good to go. Shouldn't take this long to store the backup. Right now, if we go to revert game version, wherever when you ever make a backup, it'll list it right here. Grand Theft Auto 5 2802, which is the current version of GTA. Just if it goes updated, we can easily just hit revert back. We can revert it back, no issues. Now, if you go to your command line switches, the best way to play LSPFR is have save mode on i'm not i'm not gonna do that but later on after we install some mods i will take this because i when i play lsp4 i always have save mode on because it works best with if you have save mode on that's just me all right so minimize this real quick we need to go to our main gta directory we need to go to our lsp4 folder and you want the lsp i and i Double click that, open that up with Notepad plus plus or Notepad. All right, so this is how we're gonna do it. This is my settings that I use for OSPFR. So the first one we need to do is where it says main dot preload all models. The default is coming true. This is if you go into OSPFR with these settings. And you see a bunch of textures missing. That is texture loss. Buildings disappear. Roads look funny. Grass props keeps disappearing. That is texture loss. So, in order to prevent that is at the main that preload preload all models. Change change it from true to false, all lowercase. And the world events that interval multiplier at that set to zero. World events that max number of events set that to zero as well. Uh, for the cops ca can commandeer vehicles, I'm gonna leave that true because that's because that's funny. Ambient that disable ambient game caught spawn block. Um, I usually keep that as false, but 
we'll see what's going on later down the road. All right, for your disabled player flashlight override, when you have a flashlight in game, it will. Um, if your flashlight doesn't work, you need to change this from false to true, so it will work correctly. Um, not gonna change the holster actions. Um, the escape suspect encounter interval, we're going to change this from 45,000 to 90,000. Which gives you more time to ch chase the suspect. Uh, evidence spawn disable random units. Change that from false to true. Like you're in the city, it will give you another unit from a different county. So you don't want that, so make sure you set that to true. Ambient spawn frequency, we're not gonna mess with that. Um uh, here. Call out stuff disable big radar, change that from false to true. Because you don't want that big radar picking what picking up the so much of the left hand left bottom hand corner space. So you don't want that. Um let's see here. Chase that disable camera focus. Send that to true. Because every time you go catch up to the suspect, the camera will focus on the suspect. It will make you crash into something. So make sure and set that to true. Um see here. Chase that max units, change that to five. Because um it's way more easier to have five max units in your chase. But if you have a good PC, it, you can keep it as well. But for me, I'm going to keep it as five max units. Uh, the chase traffic density budget, keep that as two. Uh, the density multiplier, I'm going to set that to 2.5. Uh, first game that disable COVID 19 items, I'm going to, by default, it's going to be false. I'm going to change this to true. So it doesn't give me the same items over and over again. Hold up that time multiplier. I'm going to set this to 3. Which gives me more time to get to the hold up before they start going through the car. Uh, everything else is going to stay at false. I'm going to control S to save. Out there, and we should be good to go. I'll see you guys in game. Alright, so we're in the loader screen now. I'm gonna let you guys see this and hang on, this does work.
Alright, there we are. And it's loading the LSP of fire. Don't worry, we are going to resize the screen. If yours does this, wait for it to load completely. Let me go to my graphics here, change to full screen. See, I don't want Michael. Whoops. Don't know why I'm doing that. Let me switch to Trevor. Alright, if y'all want the same outfit as Trevor, it, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. It does require menu. Hey, we're gonna ignore the uh, text messages from Martin Madrazo. Now you all can go to any police department that has a black shield with a white star. Those are the ones you can go to. So we're going. The closest one to us is will be Vespucci, right? Corresponding Burger Shot. In fact, we're right around the corner. Oh, let me show you all the turn signals I was talking about. If you hit your left arrow, your turn signal. Now if I do the right. If I do this. Um. Lights fucking green, motherfucker. Fucking. You hit me! Fucking move. Yeah, you better run, bitch. Now if I hit F1. You see what I'm talking about? We're going to take care of that later. Dude, you're freaking me out. Alright. Then you have to go. Oh, I was about to say, you better not see my fucking car. In the next tutorial, guys, I'll show you guys my simple trainer sayings as well that I use. Alright. Go ahead and hit E and enter. The station. It might ask us to create a character on first time. So let's go ahead and go on duty. Yep, let's go ahead and create our character. You don't have to copy my character. It can be any character you want to be. There's another mod that's that. Does it still work with LSPFR? I might have to create two characters. One male, one female. I create a male. Go to my heritage. Oh, there is a mod for the character creator. There's the photos from black and white to color. Um, let's see. The mother can be Nicole. Uh, let's go with Anthony. Do a little bit of. Uh, usually keep it like in between. So we'll have both. Features, appearance, change the hairstyle. My hairstyle is going to be the crew cut. Just the 
if I can find it. I know it's in here. Military buzz cut. Or crew cut. Facial hair. Let's go with this one. All right, save and continue. I'll put my name in and go ahead and use. In the next tutorial, besides the simple trainer settings, we're going to be also installing EUP menu. Where we can have custom uniforms. By default, as of right now, we just installed the base game and the other mods. By default, you're going to have the default GTA uniforms. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the police garage. And also, yes, we'll be, caught, be installing custom vehicles. Um, check out with with the buffalo, yeah. Let's continue because I want to see this and want to make sure. Let's go pull over somebody. We're gonna go pull over somebody. Example, like that car just ran that red light back there. Ran that red light in front of us. Go ahead and buff him up by control. And L shift. I'll buff them. And let's go ahead and buff them up. By default, it's going to be E. Don't worry, we'll be installing an ELS. Alright. Go talk to them. Hey, Hello, ma'am. My name is Officer Morrison of the Los Santos Police Department. The reason for the pullover today is so you. You, uh, ran that red light back there. What's that all about? Go ahead. Greetings. Say hello. Ask for ID. Kiflom. Kiflom, citizen. Thank you. Julia Alba. Alright, alright, Miss Alba. Sit tight for me. I'll be right back. Go ahead and look her up. Julia... Alba. That car's fine as hell. License is valid and warrants. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and issue her a citation. Oh, let's do it 250. Alright, you're gonna get cited for the red light. Next time stop the red lights. What's going on? What the fuck is going on? Oh, gotta, gotta let her go. Excuse me. Oh no. This mess. And she just hit. What the fuck is going on? Okay, AI is going dip shit. Alright, let's go ahead and... Press a call. Robbery in progress. Citizens report a robbery at... Bob Mullet's Bob Mullet. Oh shit. Sorry. Alright, we're gonna be on scene.
the gun down. Put the gun down. Someone running. Units. Assistance required in... Get on the ground, dude. Oh, Where are you? Where are you? Cease and desist, asshole! Yeah, you're gonna not see him? Go ahead and arrest him. Get transport. Alright, we're gonna say he's in custody. Don't worry, that's another thing we're gonna be installing. Alright, if you hit F4, and type in go to PD, face it, it'll take you to police station, mission row. Drunk! Alright, so that works. We know that works. Alright. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next in the next tutorial.